Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to the Grey Garden. Previously on the Grey Garden, we were attacked by flaming bats, which made us realize we didn't do our homework. You guys just look so much like something out of Homestuck. I, especially you. I, I I'm not gonna get used to that. It's done. Successfully avoided weed pulling. I'm so tired. Froze? What? Thanks a lot. It's not like I wanted to help you or anything. I hope this has taught you to not fall asleep in class. Right. I guess we'll just explore around the library. Photo collections. The Song of Alfalfa, Night of Alfalfa. Sure wonder what the Mogek you hope are up to, Moge. So deep. Like the darkness of my soul. The tragedy of marinated salmon. I used too much lemon sauce. Now the salmon will be too sour. It is truly a tragedy. The tragedy of marinated salmon, too. Did you put the salt on yet? No? Oh my god. You were supposed to marinate with salt two hours ago. Oh, Mogikos. They run everything here. Try not to die inside the building. That's a hard one. I can fly, said the Mogiko before he crashed off a building. I kind of like that title, a lot of universe and erasers. I feel like I'm gonna steal that one of these days. If you ever see a best-selling book titled that, you know where it came from. Just my imagination, perhaps. Huh? What are you two doing over here? Ah, Yosef Fire. Just on a stroll. Huh? Well, I was just studying with Froze here. More like you were just listening to me. And then the world was never the same. Whoa! What? 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 What is it? Uh, Rawberry. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. I thought this was like a grim dark on me. But it's still cute. It's still alright. Rawberry, what's that you're holding? Centipede? No! Look it. Put it up to your face. Kiss it. Then marry it. Bugs are friends. No, they're not. It's okay. Just give her a touch. No. No way, no how. Sorry, but we can't be friends. 
But Santi says she wants to get along. Well, tell her that we never, ever, ever can. But please stop running around us. Hey, Froze. How do centipedes taste? Don't eat it. And so Yosef Fire and her friends passed some very peaceful days. So it would be tomorrow, the next day, the day after that, and so on. So they fought. Dramatic narration, pan away to blackness. What do you think? Worthless. Then, shall we? Of course. Watch at that. Commence operation talk in the shadows very evilingly. So then I had a bagel. Did you? He was very evil, Bagel. Cool, huh? Mm, morning. Hmm? Yosef, time for school. Oh? That time already? I can't wait for my first day at school. Then to write in my diary. Morning, Froze. Morning. You're really cutting it close. Sorry, sorry. Now, let's take today head on. Yes, yes. I can't wait for my first day of school, okay? It's not really my first day, but it's my first day as in the audience. Hello, person with odd hairstyle that looks very weird on your sprite. Huh? Miss Grief, good morning. Hmm, morning. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. More importantly, you also fire. Yes? You didn't forget today's homework, did you? Oh no. That feel. Oh, come on. See me after class. No! Robbery? Robbery, don't you have school? Taking today off. So I can do cool things like eat people. Taking it off? Why? Just cuz. Robbery, you know it's not good to just skip school. Oh, it's just for today. Sheesh. Well, this here is my big sister. She's so nice. She makes delicious snacks for Rawberry snacking. Since you're both, you know, like you're a raspberry and you're a strawberry, do you just do nothing but make berry puns? Is this how we live our lives here? Rawberry, who are you talking to? Oh, never you mind. I'm just breaking the fourth wall. Because Yosef Fighter is not the only person to be able to do that. At any rate, you really shouldn't be skipping. Huh? Well, I've been busy with this fun distraction lately. Fun distraction? There's this weird flame tunnel. I haven't gone too deep, but I want to know where it goes. 
Hmm? Also, the flitty bats there taste really good. They've got the best screams. She sure does love to fantasize, doesn't she? As her big sister, I really ought to do something. Hmm, what to do? Maybe I'll play a prank at Macaronas before she gets home. So I am the secondary main character. I don't mean like as in Froze is the secondary main, but secondary controllable party. I keep debating whether or not I should equip you with items. Whatever. We don't need no items. But we do need strawberries. Let's see, who are we gonna harass today? Hello there. I've come here to harass you. Ah, Macarona. Oh, Rawberry. I turned in your homework. Thanks. Home already, huh? Too bad. Hmm? Why? Nothing. It's just gonna, you know, put stuff in your bed and take creepy photos. I'm glad Rawberry can spend her days off in peace. Did you say something? I didn't. So, wait. Is school over already? Isn't it really early? Yes. It seems the teachers have some other business. Like some kind of secret plan or some villains in the background and I have to go handle it. Then let's play. Um... Sure. Why the F E V face? Well, it's bug collecting again, no doubt. Well, we're on an adventure today. Adventure? Yep. To the cave in the forest past Apple Park. Uh huh? Isn't that place a little creepy? Rawberry will be there. Not scary, not at all. On the contrary. Alright, let's head past Apple Park. Um, yes. I suppose I should equip you guys then. Plus you're only level 1, which means you're gonna get ganked by bees. Ugh. Snails, huh? These snails don't seem so tough. So, what does having someone's weak point on a snail entail? I don't really want to think about it. The snails give very little like, XP. They're quite weak, but they seem to have a lot of money. I suppose if you want to mug any animal, you mug snails. I mean, that's how people make money in this world, I guess. We, we just go around mugging bugs. Oh! Not bats! Quick, use the repel. Well, at least they aren't attacking me, but there are a lot of them. They still give less XP than the worms. Oh, left to right, I don't know. Oh, a cat! I don't understand the point of that, but I guess we shouldn't question why a game needs more cats. You just add them in. To get that item from them, I have to fight for all these bats. 
I got some prosciutto. Now that I think about it, why is... Why does the cave's texture have stars in it? Are they starfish? Or it's just... Supposed to add this kind of nice feeling to this cave. Like it's not so grim and dark, it's got some... It's got some life to it. Pushido? Chocolates! Knowing these items, I'll never end up using them. That's an angry ghost. You can tell he's angry because his frown is upside down. Er, his ha smile is upside down. He's a hoodlum. Oi, what's with you? I'm gonna give you a very evil stare, and you're not gonna like it. Mmm, <sighs> ghost blood. Raberry? Isn't this a dead end? Hmm. Please, let's just leave this damp place quickly. Oh, there's a rock in my shoe. It just happens to be the chosen rock to unlock the gate. Flaming Bat! There. What was that sound? <laughs> what are you eating? And why is your mouth bloody? I, 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 I don't know what you said, but don't eat things you find lying around, Rawberry. Oh, it wasn't lying, it was flying. Delicious. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have come. Marbury is pretty more. Now back to our more normal party members in comparison. Still some great weather today. Hurry up and finish with the weed pulling, please. Kids are still waiting for me. You're so nice, Froze. I'm leaving. Ah, uh, wait, sorry, I'm finishing up. No Sophia pulled the weeds with astounding speed. I love playing Harvest Moon. I don't think I was supposed to go in here right away. I think that was. Let me talk to Froze first. Done. Alright. Pulled for the millionth time. Yes, yes. Go tell Miss Grief. Okay. You got it. Right. So the arrow's compelling me there. First, I must explore the school. Eggs and toast. 
after all your running around with toast in your mouth needs. Oh wait, I had to correct myself. It's toasty, not toast. Toasty sounds cuter. Oh, that's the same school as well. Complain about the rain reminds me of that awful, awful game, Vampire Rain. Um, quite burned into my memory. It's nothing, he just sees dead people. Miss Griefs in the staff room. Teacher. I'm done pulling the wheat. Is it? Hmm? No, but you're good yet. Huh? Is there a meeting? No, no. I know they wouldn't do anything like that. Then it must be over? Well, only ones who could, as far as I can think of. At any rate. Even so, we... Oh, yikes. What do we do? Yeah, that's scary. What are they talking about? I'm eavesdropping. Makes my heart go doki doki. Not to mention, fragile. Must be cautious. Indeed. What? Could it be? They're discussing a new lunch menu. <laughs> I'd love to have some fancy pants pastries. Then I could discuss which side of the coconut I had to eat. What are you doing? Uh, mm. I, I, I'm done pulling weeds. I see. Good work. Make sure to do your homework next time. You, you got it. Brother. Oh, what? Did you find anything? Nothing as of yet, but there is something that piques my curiosity. I will investigate, to be sure. I see. But listen, don't do anything rash. I know. Several days after that. Who's calling me? Are you calling my name or are you telling me to attack something? Hmm? Is somebody calling for me? You're so fire! Get up! You'll be late! Oh. Oh! That time already? Next time I won't forget my homework, said Yosef Fire as she forgot her homework. So slow! 
Sorry. How many times do you think I called you? I said sorry. Thanks for waiting. Hmm. Let's go. Right. I'm gonna be late for school. I hope I don't crash into someone with this toasty in my mouth. This is the wrong seat. I should be the second from the last seat down next to the window. Ah, <sighs> I'm sleepy. Come to think of it, I wonder what those other worlds are like. Now, next page. Yo, Sapphire, please read the fourth line. Uh, uh, uh yeah, yes, um... She... She, Jimmy... Jimmy! Hmm? Why are you reading from your scribbles? S -s sorry I wasn't listening. S sorry Really, really sorry. Oh. So you're thinking about something, then? Yes, indeed. I was wondering what those other worlds are like. <laughs> come to think of it, th the bat that attacked Elsa Fire the other day. Did it come from some other world? Well, we don't know the details yet. Mmm, mouse burgers. Another world is a way we can make storylines all sorts of complicated, and get rid of plot holes if we find it so convenient. Ah, yes. Well, I can't speak for every other world out there, just so you know. But where I used to live, the weather was bad year all round. It was a real disorderly sort of place, too. Eh? Teacher? You're from another world? That's right. Huh? Is that right? So are you from the bird world? Where the bird man live? Didn't he say so earlier? <laughs> I've only been to this world and the one I was born in. So I've only heard things, but yes, besides those two. There's bloodthirsty places, places where everything's burning, pitch black places. Well, a lot of different kinds. Huh? My world's composition is completely different from here. It's composition? The only people around me were demons who were thinking about nasty stuff all the time. Uh. Oh, the ones you mentioned in that other lesson. Mmm, eating living things. Are you ever gonna stop squinting, Diallo? I guess not. While here, everyone sort of lives together under a blue sky. Where I lived, there was a demon world, a world above the sky, and... Well, uh... Got Sora sidetracked from the lesson again. Miss Cryf won't be pleased if I don't teach what I'm supposed to. Ugh. Oh, wait, teacher. One last thing. What is it? Um, how do you go to another world? If you're someone very strong, you might be able to do it. If you're not, you have to kind of hop over a few blocks, crawl across the entire ceiling, and then you'll find some warp tunnels. Huh? 
So I could? Well, you are red, so yes, you probably could. Not in a thousand years. Aww. Oh. Mmm, murder. What about you, Mr. Lowry? Did you get here yourself? No, no. I couldn't do that. Then how did you get here? Oh, I was brought here. By the devil from my world, you see. <laughs> I feel the fire. Oh, 99 apples. Oh, running gag. Hey, wake up. <coughs> huh? What is it, Froze? Class is over. Huh? You can't slack off just because you turned in your homework for once. Yeah. Yosef, please study. <laughs> Sorry. And that's it for the Great Garden, part four. Well, we've gone from collecting apples while being cute, to going to a castle making apple pies while being cute, and now we've gone to eating bats and going to school while being cute. It's pretty much full circle here, and uh... I don't think there's much left we can do. Oh, I know. The beach episode. And there is a beach there. Hmm. Also, this part of the game actually does confirm that all the Mogeko games probably exist in one Mogeko universe. You see, this world in the Mogeko castle universe is a anime. But in reality, it's also a real world, and you just kind of get transported there if you want to, if you found some kind of all-powerful being. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of deep. I actually kind of wonder if the, everyone in this world kind of died at some point, like, uh... Like Neon Genesis, essentially, the end of Ava. And the god and devil are like, We've killed everyone in this world, and we're the last ones left in everyone's tang. We've got to repopulate. So they went and hijacked everyone from another dimension or something, or they found a new dimension. I'm actually wondering if that, that's what happened, but I could be off the wall and I just might be making crack theories. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for part 5 of The Grey Garden.